Well, good afternoon, everyone. In the uh, wake of Tropical Storm Isaias blowing through, uh, right now I'm recording this. We don't have power or internet, so I'm going to have to use my phone, which is charging on a battery right now, to attempt to upload this and get it to all of you um, in good stead and in good order. You will be receiving this uh, style of update on Tuesdays for as long as we have in-person worship. Uh, that requires our sign up genius uh, in order to participate. Uh, this will be the link for worship that will be published on Tuesdays. And then uh, registration will remain open for worship uh, registration regis reservations until Saturday at midnight before the Sunday morning service. Our Sunday morning services will be live outside August 9th, 16th, and 23rd. Uh, we will continue, of course, with live broadcasting of those services, but for now, now we're just making sure that uh, in order to have a good number of people assembled as well as to make sure that everyone is safe we'll be doing that outside as weather permits please use the links below for the sign up genius app that gets you to the website you can provide registration for an entire household on one space just be aware of that um, we can see it up to four adults or uh, two adults and a few more children uh, in that space and uh, you can reserve that for yourself and for your loved ones um, and choose the one you want we're glad to have to be able to offer that up to you you will be required to check in when you arrive on campus with our ushers. They will have a printed out sheet with all of the names and space assignments in hand in order to check those off and make sure the contact details are appropriate for contact tracing in case of any issues. If you are coming and have not been able to register, we will assign you a space and take your details and particulars, but we ask you to please be patient um, and that we ask everyone to make sure that they do sign up and do register. You can also call the parish office or the wardens in order to uh, sign up with them verbally and they'll take the information from you in that regard. The reason we're doing this is because we're limited not only in terms of space but also in order to ensure everyone's safety as we move forward with reopening during the pandemic. Uh, please do as well if you are interested in participating. Remember that masks are required at all times on the campus. Uh, please do wear them uh, and do not take them off. Uh, at times when I preach and when I celebrate, I will remove the mask, but never when I am close to the sacraments, um, the elements, or at any point when we might have closer interaction with people. We're going to make sure we try to maintain safe distance and also to maintain the safety of everyone involved when we gather for worship. And it will be good to worship again. We've been missing everyone, and it will be good to be able to have that time together. Everyone in leadership at St. Peter's has been working very hard to get us to this point where we've been able to reopen, and we're happy to be able to offer that hard work to you. Please do participate and uh, keep to those uh, things that we've asked you to do. Remember to wear a mask, use hand sanitizer. If you need to, wear gloves. Um, if you are sick or having any other health issues, please do remain home and watch the service online. Know that everyone is welcome, but we want to make sure everyone as well stays safe and healthy. We've already opened our thrift shop to great success. Our first open day, we had one of the strongest days we've had in a year, um, as well as getting a visit from a Little League team that would to bring us a donation to support the mission and ministry of the thrift shop in its work. So we're very blessed to be able to have started the reopening process and having it work well. Also, we anticipate reopening our community supper tomorrow evening. That is um, Wednesday the 5th, and uh, we look forward to welcoming our guests back for curbside pickup. Uh, we'll be giving uh, packets of meals to folks along with donations of baked goods that will be assembled in the parish hall and then brought down to them curbside. Remember, as I said before, all are welcome. When it is time for communion, we will be welcoming you up by specific dismissal. The ushers will come to you and invite you to come forward and uh, join in a procession. We have very specific traffic patterns we've set up in order to ensure everyone's safety this so they can relieve their place um, and return to it having received the sacrament. And uh, we look forward to sharing that with you as well. It's been a long time since we've been able to be together and to offer praise to God and to receive the sacrament. And it's going to be good to be in that space again. 
But in order for us to preserve this and to continue this practice in safety, we're asking everyone to please conform to the need to maintain safe practices at all times. One of those safe practices is very unfortunate, and we're trying to keep our worship service short for this very specific reason, and that is that we do not have access to the bathrooms right now. Um, so please, if you are coming uh, to church services, make sure you use the conveniences at home and then come to us. Um, we'll try to keep the service as short and sweet as possible. And in order that, you might be able to return home if you need to have those services again. If there is an emergency, of course, we'll do everything we can to conform and support you in that. Um, the reason we are holding off on opening the bathrooms is that it's basically a one and done thing. And we have to sanitize the space after it's been used. Um, and we don't have uh, the capacity right now to ensure that that is a sure bet every single time. So just bear with us. We're working on that. But in all things, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we look forward to having you all with us this coming August 9th. If not in person, then in spirit. And know, of course, that we're going to continue to offer all of our online content, both on the Facebook Live as well as on the YouTube channel. Uh, please do like and subscribe to the YouTube channel because that enables us to deepen the bench on our content offerings as well as to make sure that it goes out further into the world to share the light and love of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And of course, when you're watching on Facebook, whether it's on Sunday morning or on Monday uh, or on Monday morning or in, in evening prayer throughout the week, um, please do make use of that. Share it with your friends and let them know that they're welcome as well. Thank you so much again, Father Marshall Shelley, speaking to you from uh, the uh, power outage up here in South River. I look forward to seeing you all on Sunday, and uh, God bless and keep you all. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.